And the reason I'm not, you might be thinking, why is he not scraped that muck down with the tractor down there? Well, the reason for that is at the moment, I don't want to put any fresh muck down that in front of that maze clamp because I'd have to drag all the muck down there. No point in me dragging this lovely fruity stuff down there and then getting in the tractor wheels and taking it into the maze clamp. So that's my lovely job this morning, picking this up. Still, do you know what? It's what keeps me fit. And that's why I'm not 20 stone. Because I eat like someone who ought to be 20 stone. But um, put a plate of food in me. I like a big plate, mixed grill especially. Um, you know, I don't mind a bit of back breaking hard work. I'm 55, I can still do it. Maybe not when I'm 75. Anyway, we must get out and see that maze. So well, let's go on, part two. Right, apparently they started on the second field now. So I'm going to just watch this load off. Let's get up close. I'm going to watch this load off and then I'm going into the field. Look at that. That's Tash on there. He's doing a good job. in the Land Rover now, we're going along the road. I've already got muck on my new boiler suit. I wonder if Ed had let me in the forager. I don't want to smell a cow muck in there, I'm sure. So we're gonna we're gonna head on now back to we done they've done the first field already, they're pretty well cracking on. So done the first field, that was I think it took about an hour and a half I don't know how many acres that is. Um that might be about five acres or something, I can't remember. I'm rubbish on my acreages, I, I don't ever really worry about it. Um, so we're going to go along and look at the James's Furlong, which is the bigger of the two fields. And it's got a good crop in it, I looked at it before, you probably saw my, my video. Um, i to reverse that here without hitting anything. i got a bit of a smoke issue in this Land Rover at the moment. Um, not sure what to make of it. Well, there's something wrong with the injector. It seems to be all right. I drove along the road the other day and there was massive clouds of black smoke coming out the back. I'm trying to see if there's any smoke. I just want to drive on the road. I can't check. Yeah, look. Can you see that? Big puffs of... When I put my foot down, Christ. Look at that. Right, so if there's anyone who knows about Land Rovers, can you tell me what you think that problem is? Because I'm not sure whether it's an injector. Um, did look up something about a block air filter, so I'm going to order a new air filter at lunchtime. But I got a feeling it's something else. The engine sounds all right. It does use a little bit of oil, but um, one piston rings, don't know. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the uh, silage. in the field now. I just recorded a lovely five minute section where they just loaded the new trailer that had just driven in and I realised I hadn't pressed the record button so I was talking to myself filming nothing. Brilliant. So anyway Tash is on the trailer she's going round. Um, interesting thing is I don't know 
how full that trailer will how, how many times how far she can get round before that trailer is full obviously when you get near the middle you're not going round and round so much but when you're on the outside there's a big circumference to go round so maybe you only go round halfway before the trailer's full um, so I'll be interested to see whether she can fill it has to come all the way down here to fill it or whether she'll drive by with, and the forager might wait at the top quite possibly it'll wait at the top for the next load let's have a look at this um, crop what's that down there something blue oh look it's a bit of net wrap it's probably come out with the muck in the I'll put that in my pocket there's no point in leaving rubbish like plastic waste here is there right so here we go look let's peel this baby off look at that peeling away while we're waiting for the forager I'm gonna go I will go and see the forager in a minute look at this oh yeah they're ripe and lovely aren't they so uh, right so there's still a bit of green on the plant look at this that one's definitely gone all dead but there's still green on the leaves here um, personally I like to see a bit of green on the leaves I think you gotta get a bit of nutrition in it um, but uh, sorry just waving at the chap I speak to um, who uh, does bird watching nice guy um, just gone by on his bike um, I can hear the forager I think it's stopped let's go up yeah I like to see a bit of green on the leaves as I was saying um, because I always think there's probably a bit more nutrition in it with a bit of green when it's completely brown you think it's just probably dried up rubbish all right let's go on up miles away. Oh, glad I'm in a Land Rover so I can take these bumps. in the cab with Ed we just put the wheels to rights and now Ed's on it John's on the trailer I guess it's pretty tall isn't it it's not as good as no, this is better than the other piece is it I thought it was I'm happy with this though after last year's crap
an even one there. Yeah. I think I, it weed didn't come up right. Basically. A lot of weed in there, wasn't yeah. it? This year compared with some years. What you really do is you go around every farmer and tell you their their field is the best one you've seen this year, isn't it? That's what you Yeah, that's what you gotta say, isn't it? Tell them what they want of it. Yeah. Second load is Tash on here now. She's good on it, isn't she? Yeah, she's good. How old's Tash? About well. 20? Yeah, 19, 20. She's doing really well. Young girl over there. There she is. Not many girls on, on farms, are there? Nope, nope. It's good that she's Zealand, doing though. it. She's off to New Zealand. Yeah, end of right. End of November, I think. Right. What, for work on a farm? Or? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, Dairy good, farm good experience out yeah, there. Good. Well, that's good she's done something like yeah. that, isn't it? I feel a lot more confident seeing this coming in because I think I came out here last year and it was like down there. <laughs> you were cutting it and it was... And um, there's probably two cobs on every plant. Yeah, there is, there is. Whereas last year I think we're probably lucky to get one. This bit of this bit job is on the maze on the forager. Uh, Putting you on the spot here, Ed. Yeah, I don't know. Is it concentrated while someone's filming you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Guarantee us when you're missing training. Yeah. Well, you've done well already, all right, so far, haven't you?
day now actually is it if it stays dry till two o'clock i'll be happy not much mud on the road that's the main thing i'll, I'll go and tidy that up later but don't think there's much to worry about there Soon. I think he's going to combine it. Oh, is he? What, yeah. for seed? Yeah. Oh, that's what he did a couple of years that's ago, it. wasn't it? Yeah. They leave it till it looks like the plant's completely dead, yeah, don't they? Sort of Novemberish time. Yeah, I was really, really late. That's a pretty full load, isn't it? Is that it? Yeah. I'll get out now and film the other load from arrival, I'll be running along the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get when John comes back, I'll get out and yeah. film him. Line yourself up. Hey, I've jumped out. Let me get ready. Because the, for the forager is coming. Not the forager, the, the next trailer, John Bennett. So let's get out. And uh, we'll watch that load. Here he is. He's going to come up here on the side. Really difficult to get in there and get a good picture, really, because you don't want to put in. Get, you certainly don't want to get in the way of the um, trailer. I'm going to go on down here. It's a great day, though. So I'm trying to take a few photos. Look, it's a great day for taking pictures. Can lighten the pictures to a degree but not that much can't get a good shot in the gray here comes john Photographs of Harry, bit for Facebook. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll go down there and film the next load coming down from the outside. Right, well that seems to be going alright so far. The the maze sorry, the rain. Look, I always tumble my words. Any of you who watch my videos will know I tumble my words. That's the best thing I can say. Um, so the rain is held off. Uh, 
it's still soft here, really soft the grain, but um, I don't think there'll be that much mud on the road, but the, the maize crop's coming in nice, so I'm gonna go back to the farm in a minute. Uh, but it's coming off well. There is a good height on the crop, like I said, two cobs on the, two cobs on the corn, that's the thing. Well, actually one on those. Some of them got two, small one there. That one's not very good, look at that, hang on. There's nothing much in there. Some of them have got two on. This thing, look, not even, what is that in there? Let's have that. Ah! Look at that, it's like a, that's one of those little sweet corns you have in a salad, isn't it? Well, they, I can't remember what they call them. But, uh, the cobs look good, and the main thing is I had a problem with some sort of some sort of rot in them a few years ago, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, interesting thing is, as you're probably well aware, I do continuous maize in this field, which is a little bit of a no-no. You know, rotation of crops is is uh, what you're supposed to do. But as you can see, I, I managed to get away with it. Uh, probably 11 years in this field now. Um, and they tell you all about crop rotation at college or whatever but and that's definitely true because you keep the disease level down but it just shows it is achievable um, the only reason I, I don't rotate the crop is uh, we have a problem with uh, where else we're going to put it without losing grazing for our cattle up here it works well because we both the fields we've got it in haven't got any um, troughs in so we couldn't and the fence is rubbish so we couldn't really put cattle out here so that's why it's here right let's keep going right so John's just leaving with his load uh, and he had to wait there for a couple of minutes while Tash came along uh, Tasha or Tash I'm not sure which what her name nickname should be probably uh, so she's come back to get the load. I'm stood on the Lamb Rover bonnet here. Roof, actually. A bit dodgy. So let's see whether I can get some good video out up here without falling through the roof. The sun's trying to come out. That's always good. That's some power behind that. Look at that.
surely. Here we go, we're powering through this. Coming down off this hill. Bit of sun, drying out nice. Not much mud on the road. All good, happy days. Crops looking good. This is turning into a good year for maize. wobble on the camera if I zoom in too far. My phone's kicking. Good old Land Rover. Ooh. Not many other vehicles you could climb on like that. Especially if you've got a nice foot hold on the bumper. Right, there we go. We've done a pretty good job seeing the field. Uh, we're gonna head on back now. So this is the end of part two of Silage 2023, May Silage 2023. Tune in uh, tomorrow for part three, where we'll see us finishing up in the clamp, look. There we go. Just see the forager through there. We are cracking on with maize. Crack on. <laughs>